Welcome to another episode of Alan Wake. This is episode two. Uh, hopefully, uh, when I hit continue game, it will do the last time or previously on Alan Wake. Uh, we saw that at the end of the episode last time, and I wasn't expecting it. So let's try. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Okay, three years ago before the vacation. I'm assuming. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. Thank you for How making me it? worst weather I've ever seen. Point to the ground. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Cause we are obsessed with picking up coffee. Oh, so hey, should handsome. I? This is gonna be a long night, but these shots coffee. are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. She had a thermos right next to her. Uh, if, you, if you haven't noticed, I added, uh, I, I turned on subtitles so we could easily see. Coffee's on. Or easily read what they're saying. Because sometimes I accidentally talk over dialogue. Is that a missing page? No, it's not. CC. That's the a TV. They here's the thing that's not normal. This guy is not opening this TV and putting it on uh the entertainment console. You know, instead he's he's gonna turn on the coffee and I just do other chores. I don't know. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform what? all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Why would why would I have a locked door? All right, let's try another door. Why would I lock my Like doors inside my uh, uh, is this an apartment or a house? This looks like an apartment. These look really good. Oh sure, until Barry gets his hands on them, which by the way will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> what? Alan, Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just Honey, get the it's a power outage. Now, I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah, it was yeah. before when the I clapper. The dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Yeah. Oh, sure. When I was 12, I, she got me the clapper. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. But then I yeah, was always nice clapping. Story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this.
Because I would hate to be woken up by my, my son when he's like four, clapping. <laughs> Half the time it didn't work. Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to all the jittery the I camera Alice. work now. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. What is with the weird camera if angles that starts me on? experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. Bam! Up in the sky. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. I just, again, I have to check this. It's too high. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Can't run. I want to check everything. Nope. I thought that would be... Oh, for some reason I thought a door was there. Okay, this is the right way to go. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. Would she be able to find a body? Because he was kind of a Hello? paranormal Alice, entity. Please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Have you seen this man? What's his name? Identifying features. Knack for winning contests. What about this one? Okay, now there are names. On a camping trip, overdue, having haven't been in contact. Oh, cat's not important, obviously. So, Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Am I? So the question is. Oh, hold on, I gotta check the rest of the place. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, oh, the Mr. mobsters you can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind working me. for the ghosts. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. You know why you shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. <laughs> oh, why'd you do that for? Uh, just to mess with you. I didn't mean to. Early morning light hurt so. my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. I'm sort of just joking here, but like, 
Yeah, are the moms working for ghosts or the ghosts working for moms? Because now my my wife is like. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. My wife is has been kidnapped. I understand. I'm just still looking around. I have to find my manuscript pages. Wow, he's strong. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, come on. You can do it. What does that say? Nitro Grow. journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake. Pay attention, Alan. Think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to what, see you what? again, Mr. That was Wake. a weird look Later. at your wristwatch. Who's 
Max? Uh, I don't know. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at Bucked everybody. Bucked tooth Charlie. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated Wait, all that to you. text is and written she there? she very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Just what? Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Yeah, wait here. I need a I need a snack. Oh, and I need some coffee too. Whoa, that was weird. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. You, you told me that. Bucktooth Charlie, right? Okay, boy. Al, you We're can't just go here. and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing, it... Listen, you hit... Your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. Ah. And uh, here are the keys. My dog okay, ate it. You're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Look, Al. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went... Into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes. Nope. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful. Do I still have my gun? These yokels are dangerous. Every I don't have a gun. Forest, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Oh, 
Gotta have my coffee. Let me go up the front real quick, though. Oh, there's more coffee! Next to a hot tub. I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Oh, I do have a gun. Uh, that's an easy uh, dumpster to move. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. And they just disappear. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your gear fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound Did I just see something out the window? I ever seek to manage. No plan, really. Just taking the action. Why not go for a few minutes with the man here in my cold and nasty car? Some seldom no chaperone for us around this town, huh? But I'm gonna check out Gosh, that was scary. Well, why do I only have uh, seven batteries? I, th I had at least 18 in the previous episode. At the end of the episode. Another episode of the Twilight Zone knockoff? Can't remember what it was called. Do I need to take care of that? Where are you?
cannot feed the wildlife. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. It came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. Wait, what it guns do I have? Understand what had happened. Did, was I not already carrying a gun? Shh, good boy. What page are you talking about? Ow, that really sucks. Oh, in a different building? I have to get the lights on the in a, from sure a different building. Was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. I'm kind of interested. I want to see that page. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Do I have to clean them all up? I 
I wonder what happens if you touch them. Cause I didn't think about that until. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. And taken the dog. Oh, they killed the puppy. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license and obey the park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Two bears and wolves never approach. No, I dodged. Something is giant. Didn't lose any health, so... I really want to feed the wildlife. I mean, something tells me I shouldn't. Trying to get close to you. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. <laughs> Moonshine Cave. Somebody's helping me out by making me go into a cave. Extra pages back here. Oh, 
Why do things always break? I thought we moved. Whoa! No, there was another one of you. No. Can't check the porta potty. I need light. Hopefully that will be it. I gain health over time though. It's slowly raising. Yeah, I know I should go over there, but I want to see over here. Maybe there's some a coffee thermos. going on does that happen when I'm too far off the path it gets all creepy and unsettling Where's it as I'm going up to Lover's Peak? Failed by lightning. 1937. Nice. Gotta go through it once, right?
I didn't reload. I need more ammo. I swear I'm hitting dodge. All right. Oh, do I have to find a bear? You don't want to make a comment about that? spot I'm cheating. <laughs> Trying to save ammo too. what to do. I'm out of ammo. Can't do anything if I'm out of ammo.
Hopefully he won't come back. Why, why are you here again? Do I just jump over on this? Okay. Should be okay. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. And who are you? You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction was he? of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wake! You better keep up! That's what I got for you! How are you not dodging when I'm dodging? I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wake! You better keep up! That's what I got for you! All right, that's better. Lover 
first peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Just a little longer. Scare them off. Get some light on those bastards. That'll be over. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. We done yet? <laughs> Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> Kill you if you hurt Alice. 
Do you hear me? Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. The th I mean, the thing is, he read it, but... Okay, either go that way or... Okay, that's it. That's the only way I can go. I'm not understanding this whole kidnapped and uh, psychological, maybe not psychological, paranormal entities, some kind of darkness. What? Yeah, what is that? Am I supposed to just fall for the first one? I didn't even touch it. Okay. I just don't step in it. That's all. Woo! Okay. I'm thinking, oh, I can pick up pages now. wasting my ammo on that it's like really tempting uh do you want to shoot this yeah i do want to shoot it but i gotta conserve ammo hey 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 at one time that's that's garbage I'm standing still until I get some health back that's just ridiculous Why does it have to have this weird...
hunting rifle this time. Not a shotgun. So I decided that I'm going to play until the actual episode is over. Um, even though it's going to... The episode may be longer. Alright, so was I supposed to be coming up here? Because it looked like I could have gone further up. Maybe not. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. So I got to go past this area. Did I hear something? Coming at me or something? Alright, once I drop down, there's no way back. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here. But it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Can I go up it? Yeah, I can. Alright, I don't want to do that anymore. Alright, where was it telling me to go? There were uh, indications. Okay, go right. I'm gonna go up here. Where is it telling me to go? Gonna go straight this way. Usually it indicates like some kind of a secret. I'm not seeing any more though. What am I hearing? Somebody's... Oh. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's because of that right there. Hearing something breathing like... All right. Oh, come on. it through the woods.
All right, so that was the plane and everything was all secret. But I still gotta go this way. Can't, I can't walk through these two rocks. I feel a boss battle coming on. No, no, why you get to hit twice? No, you're dead first. I missed. All right, gotta still go. I don't like the way this If I'm not on the trail it really messes with you Oh you got a friend too Here you go. Okay, whatever. Alright, I guess I'm going in. Uh oh now I meant to jump
Coffee. All right. Hope I didn't miss anything the other way. There were two two ways that I could have gone. Uh, darkness. Where's a? Where's her face? There's two ways I could have gone, and I went right. And that's when that thing broke. I didn't go. Oh well. Be aware of widowmakers. This episode's gonna be over. Alright, that way, that this way is also a way. Nothing to find. What about Moonlight? I mean, that's also a light. with all the logging. I mean, they must be actively logging around here. So all these people, all these guys that have turned, man, 
I'm just murdering a bunch of normal people. And uh, their families are just like missing them. Why didn't I just go back the way I was that, that I came? I mean, I mean, I had to meet somebody. I guess that dude was the main main point. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. to get the car from the locked garage it would get me back to Barry faster and the headlights were a welcome bonus I'm going the bathrooms are some of the scariest <laughs> in horror games. Oh, that one's locked. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Hmm. Okay. You can learn about nature and yourself. Come on out. Well, okay. Now take your time. Oh, I actually have to drive. What's over here? And why is it a dead end? I gotta have my coffee. I just go. Is it going to be less people later if I take them try to take them out now with a vehicle? The 
flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Oh. Yeah. Don't have time for this. That light following me? It just seemed like it moved. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't. Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well... Uh, I don't think this is the right yes, place. Yes, I, I get you. And flip the... Oh, no, I flip... Okay, they were on. Alright, this was not the right cabin. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Darkness controls the Taken. Ow! Ow! I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Uh, why don't you let me in? Thanks for all your help, Barry. Oh, gosh. I need them to get closer to me. Oh, hey, where did you guys come from? Yeah. They just completely disappeared. Hey, Al. I'm I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. 
He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. I don't have that me, the supernatural typewriter she got me. Metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be she there sounds weird. Now. See you soon. Bye now. Have a great day. She's being controlled. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Odeal Diner. Good girl. Song's better than the last uh, ending. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.